What's going on, everybody? Welcome in to the Crypto Logic Podcast, man. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day, man. It is Wednesday, and it's a beautiful day for crypto. So, if you're new to the channel, man, definitely subscribe to the show because we got a lot of alpha that we're going to be bringing you guys all the time. Man, if you guys didn't watch that episode yesterday, we put out, man, Future Fire. Gotta watch that, man. The audio was a little messed up. It's my fault. I apologize. But with that being said, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's, what? Wait, 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 what, 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 man? What, what? Wait, 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 wait. The alpha is coming. Now, the market cap, guys, is sitting at $2.69 trillion. We're down uh, not even a percent on the day. It's literally not even down as much. <laughs> It didn't really go down at all, guys. I mean, let's be honest here. Bitcoin's sitting at 58,000. At least it's not 57,000. It's rising a little bit. You know, it might fall back down to 57,000. We don't know. Ethereum. Hey, look, we still got Dante. Oh, hey, Dante. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, how, what is the button for you? Yeah, there we go. That button. Shout out to Dante. Shout hey, to he's Dante. gone. He, he left. Fought. Sorry, Dante. <laughs> um, so Ethereum is sitting at, you know, almost 4,800, which, you know, for a while it was sitting at under like 4,100. It was almost tipping like 3900 but you know the ethereum's been been doing pretty good uh as of late since bitcoin has basically been consolidating um binance coin or bnb you know it's been doing its thing haven't really dove much into bnb since i got out of like the meme coin era i haven't really touched it to be honest with you um but you know it is still doing pretty good solana is doing pretty good as well uh we broke some news about uh grayscale uh looking at solana as you know no, they added it. They're adding it to their uh, portfolio, right? They trust, yeah. So trust, that, yeah. that that allows their institutional investors to basically invest into Solana without having to actually own any Solana tokens. So like, a, which is like crazy. A, so would that be considered a futures ETF? No, right? I guess something like that. Because a futures ETF is you don't own it, you own derivatives, well, it's, it's and then based spot on the ETFs are like you own yeah. it. It's backed by it or whatever. Yeah, it's backed by it. And a futures based on the 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 success of it moving forward a oh, trust okay, okay. a trust is like basically you're, you're trusting right it's a trust fund yeah that, that this thing is gonna it's like, i guess it's the same thing yeah, but you're investing into it as a derivative like hey it's like an iou type of thing you don't mm. actually own the solana token they don't they have no use for it these billionaires they don't have no use for the token but they're they will they they're basically saying, hey, we like that the fact that this thing can go to a thousand dollars next oh, year. Oh, they want the price appreciation. Yeah, yeah I get so it. So it's like it's like Grayscale is doing the investing for them. I don't know if Grayscale actually buys the tokens and these people are just put uh, supplying the money for it, but they don't actually have like it's like an IOU. They don't actually own the token. You know what I mean? That's yeah. probably what is going on. Grayscale's probably buying the tokens. We don't yeah, know. We don't know yet. Uh I mean I mean I know Grayscale. That's buys like all a lot rich elite behind Bitcoin the scenes type stuff. stuff. Yeah. I know they buy a lot of Bitcoin. Um, so when they get their actual spot ETF, uh, I think they'll be set and ready to yeah. go from there. So, you know, we're, Grace, we'll see. You follow Grayscale. like You definitely follow Grayscale. Those are the companies. They may be boomers or old, but that's they where have, the big money is. That's where all the money is. Yep. That's like we, like I said, I, I, you know, I, I sit on the show. There may be a, a musician, artist that's terrible, but if the industry label says, hey, we want you to be the face of it, even though that person can't sing as well, they need a bunch of auto tune. They can't dance. They'll be the forefront and be the face of a mu uh, music genre or whatever that label. And I can name a bunch of them. Exactly. I can name a bunch of them where I'm like, how is this guy famous? How is this guy successful? Or this girl, whatever. Yeah. They're out there. I don't want to name any names, but they're out there. <laughs> you see them all the time. Viral songs, one hit wonders. Yeah. Unfortunately. You know? And yeah. there's a lot of great artists that are on social media that haven't had their spotlight yet just like these cryptos there's a lot of great cryptos quant kda right yeah vxv lcx the block the block there's a lot of them happy there's a bunch you can go down the list polka dot there's a bunch of them out there that are that aren't being put on the pedestal and solana's being put on the, it's getting picked put up be put on the pedestal because they have the money to do so whether or not they know crypto understand crypto or not right the money talks money moves <laughs> you know, exactly. move the waves so you it's like the world that we live in you got to follow the money if you want to make some money you know what i mean you can't just be like ah, i'm going against everything that they say yeah yeah that's, that's not how that works man you do as they do not as yeah, they say not like you're not being a puppet you're not being a follower but 
you make the wealth that you want to make, then you decide to do what you want to do with that wealth and change the world in your terms. Like if you want to build schools for kids, if you want to help give laptops away, you know, help them learn how to do things. And you do, you don't have to do any of that voting on politicians, none of that. You go out and start your own nonprofit organizations with the wealth that you've acquired by following these rich people. Exactly. And then you make your wealth and you give back how you can, how you believe is right that you can give back. Yes, sir. There we go. Dan John's on the soapbox today. Y'all better listen up. All right. Now, uh, XRP is, uh, you know, at a, a 101. Uh, finally, it's got back above a dollar. Uh, all those you know. people that said, I'll buy XRP when it's under a dollar. You had like three days. I bet you they didn't buy you it. You had like three or four days. I bet you they didn't buy of it. Of it being under a dollar. And you could have capitalized on it, but I bet you a lot of people were like, no, I'm so dollar under a dollar now. I'm with 80 cents. <laughs> like, that's not how you invest. I used to do that. Oh Trust me, that God. doesn't work. Oh, you buy man. the dip. The dip is good already. The dip, the dip. You buy the dip on the dip. It's You're, still on a dip. He's waiting for more. Like, whoever it is is waiting for more dips. He or she. You don't do that. Mm, don't mm, be sitting mm. there waiting on the dip. Preach. There you go. Uh, polka dot sitting underneath uh, 40 bucks, man. I think it will hit 50 bucks uh, relatively soon. Got a lot of stuff coming out. I mean, the parachain auction for Moonbeam, I think, uh, just recently uh, finished and they got accepted as the second uh, one in the parachain auction. So pretty dope for that. Um, Dogecoin is still sitting at 10, uh, the, the, the number 10 spot, but I think it will fall to Avalanche. Uh, let's be honest here, man. Avalanche is doing yeah, some man. Crazy the news stuff, is coming man. out with Avalanche. Avalanche is gonna take off. Yeah, Avalanche I, this time next year will be a big player. Yeah, I Solana mean, too. This time next year, I, I would probably see Avalanche somewhere in the neighborhood of like maybe 600, 700, maybe, even, yeah, maybe even a grand. I, Could be Avalanche has every right to be a hundred billion dollar market cap minimum. Solana's like about to touch it, but Avalanche has every right, and I think that Cardano will get there but it's taking way too long it's gonna fall yeah it's it's gonna get there cardano is inevitably gonna be a hundred billion dollar market cap and the hundred billion dollar like we said is gonna be like the norm in the top 10. yeah every top 10 is gonna need to be at least 100 billion dollars to stay in the top 10. so i think i think that's when we'll see the, the stable coins pop drop off and then just be in like you know 15 20 range yeah but these ecosystem tokens are gonna take off and hit the hundred billion dollars avalanche will be in there polka dot could be in there luna will be in there Cosmos can be in there. Solano for sure is right right around the corner. Seventy yeah, billion. Exactly. Yeah, man. It's gonna be an interesting time to to see what layer ones are actually gonna be in the top ten this time yeah. next year. Because uh, as John always states, XRP you know, too. the top ten has always changed almost every every year or every other year. So it's gonna be interesting to see what what yeah. what would it change to. I think Quant will be in the top ten. Because I mean, look, Terra is literally right Luna is literally yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? CRO, I don't, I don't know if CRO can hit 100 billion. Maybe um, they have a lot of retail investor money too. Yeah, so so CRO, and I don't, I don't know if it will be 100 billion. I mean, not as fast as the layer ones. Yeah, but I mean, eventually, maybe. I you think know, so. Sometimes down the line, I think it will potentially hit there. Now, will it? Will it see like KuCoin numbers as as far as their price goes? I don't know, man. Well, no, no, because CRO has more. Um, they have more tokens. Yeah, CRO has a bigger market cap than KuCoin right now. So look at Ku KuCoin's like in yeah, the 20s, but right? KuCoin, KuCoin has. Uh, where is KuCoin? Yeah, it's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> Damn, KuCoin is far. <laughs> but it's like twenty dollars because of the, the supply, the token. Oh yeah. Oh you know yeah. What yeah, I mean? yeah, but see, the market cap of KuCoin is only two billion. Damn. So I mean, if if KuCoin even got to where CRO is. Holy cow! It'd be over hundred dollars. Yeah, KuCoin be KuCoin That's has crazy. Binance potential of price appreciation. It low key because does because of the supply. It low key does. It could does. literally be half of what Binance is with like literally just ten billion dollars. Bro, but low key, like you not can half make, of what Binance is, but you know what I mean. You can make pretty two, good passive four, income six, with eight. KuCoin. Yeah, twenty billion. You 20 could stake billion. your KuCoin on KuCoin, or your KCS yeah. on KuCoin. You make pretty decent amount of uh, uh what a qu passive like income. A uh, where's Quant? Uh, yeah, you see Quant, right, Quant right there. Quant's at two billion as well. Yep. You see Quant at a hundred billion dollars would be insane. Low key would. I think it would be I, like twelve grand. I mean, it it will be. It will. It will eventually get there, man. KDA it's just, too. You got to be mindful of it. Uh, KDA right is there. KDA right here. Yeah, it's at the top. Go up, 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 right up, there. up, up, up. There we go. Yep. KDA is sitting at sixty. I'm telling you, KDA is one that I think this time next year, just like the Quant effect. Having like a hundred quant, thirty quant, sixty quant, you're gonna be very happy. 
Yeah. Like, even if, even if you have, like, 75, 50, 100, 50 40, yeah. you're going to be happy. I think uh, KDA will be in that realm. It deserves to be in the realm. The, the, the tokenomics, the, the, the technology, the utility, the proof of work, the partners, who they're backing, the potential is there. Yeah, I man. really like KDA. I'm, like, going to aggressively kind of increase my position in KDA and Alliance Block as well. Yeah. I think Alliance Block is going to be one... That will also, if you have a couple thousand of those, a few thousand, not financial advice, crypto, this is crypto advice. I saw a tweet that said that. This is not financial advice. This is crypto advice. <laughs> that There's a difference. That Alliance Block will be one that you will be very happy that you put invested in at these prices. Six, sub 75 cents. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, take, take, take that information with however you want to take it. All right. Now, let's hop into some news real quick, get that understanding so you guys know what's going on in the world of crypto. This first article we want to bring to you guys is about, now I don't know how to say this name, man, so don't hold Cro me to it. Crocia? But I think it's like Croita no, or Crocia. Crocia or something or another. Either way, it's the largest Crocia. supermarket chain. Now they're basically going to be accepting crypto. You know, while, while it now accepts crypto only online for now, con, uh, what is it, Konzoom? I guess Konzoom plans to expand the new payment option to its physical chain stores as well. So that's going to be interesting to see how they implement that. Now, Konzoom is the largest uh, supermarket in Koita. It's Croatia. Croatia. Um, it's keeping up with the times by debuting its uh, de debuting payments in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. But it's not just Bitcoin because everybody kind of goes with bitcoin officially on december 1st they announced that they're going to be accepting nine cryptocurrencies and those nine are standing right here we got bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash eos Dai, xrp uh, xlm as well and then you got usdt and usdc so um maybe they're probably going to add more maybe once they get their own uh you know if they do decide to get like a cbdc or get their own type of currency um they will be they will literally be able to do it quick in a hurry i wonder where this is though is this in is this in uh russia where's this at i don't know let me find out but the reason why i know it's pronounced croatia because they say that in the movie uh jurassic park oh <laughs> yeah they do huh it's okay. a country in the central and southeast europe oh so it's in europe okay because i seen i seen like croatia. how they spell this and i'm like maybe that's russian but that's a that's a dope yes, name. Croatia is in Central and Southeast Europe. Okay. Yeah, that that's it's pretty near, dope. Man. It's near Bosnia. So Serbia. This one is like the Hungary. largest supermarket chain to do it. So I think you know it might be the first Walmart's one. Walmart's next. Walmart will be next. <laughs> well, no, but let's be honest here. Walmart will probably be next. I mean, they got Walmart in China, and you know they deal with you know V Chain and all that. So you know, it could be. You know, they could adopt it. See, it's working and. Go ahead and put it into place. Yeah, Croatia is beautiful. So, that's what I heard. It's like, it's kind of near. It's near Slovenia, Serbia, Italy, Greece, Slovakia. Man, it's probably beautiful. Austria. Man. Super beautiful. It's like in those areas. Poland. Dude, over I can't. There. I can't wait to have like financial freedom to where I can just travel wherever I want. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, Deep that's gonna that be so waterway. dope, man. Damn. That water is so blue. Buildings are kind of old, but yeah. But I mean, that's kind of like the the buildings of like. I mean, if you go to Italy, they're old like that too. Yeah. You know, but it doesn't take away from the beauty. You know what I mean? People go for it just for that old kind of you know, back to the future type. You know what I mean? Now, Fidelity said to heck with the United States. We're going to Canada because they're launching their their spot Bitcoin ETF. Now, this is not the same one as the futures ETF. A spot ETF is. The, you'll be able to yeah. actually buy and sell real not bitcoins it's not going to be the derivatives guys derivatives so. are like ious derivatives are like a little piece of paper that says yeah this is how much you you own some uh bitcoin but you really don't <laughs> it's kind of like kind of like robin hood you know yeah. what i mean like you could buy and sell crypto on robin hood but you can't transfer it yeah. out of robin hood as yeah. it stands right now maybe in the future it. it might change but you know they're working anything. on they're working on dropping that wallet once that wallet drops then a lot of regular uh people that don't really care about crypto but want to get into crypto will get into crypto it's way easier access to get into crypto than doing a a, a centralized exchange exactly but and I mean, but crypto but crypto.com you got to argue is, is is pretty easy for most people yeah 
I, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, the, but you got, you got uphold as well. I just don't too much I mean, care for him. But I yeah. mean, Corey Mace is the easiest. I think Kirkland.com is pretty easy, but at the same time, it kind of would be difficult for some people. I feel like I don't know. I just see it, but I think Coy, Rama is literally the easiest though. Rama yeah, yeah, is for sure. I mean, the we, start, we started. We started. I've there. ever seen. It's so dummy proof. We started there. <laughs> you can't right now. You can't lose. You can't send anything out and lose it. Like coinbase.com, you technically would have to know what the contract is, how to find the right contract address, how to know whether you're sending on a, a smart chain, like you're sending BNB. Yeah. You're sending, you know what I mean? You got to know if are That's you sending true. it on an ERC network? You're like wh where you're sending it to. Which network are you using? Like if you're sending Avalanche, are you using C chain? You, you know what I mean? Yeah, and they got like, three different ones. Yeah, C chain, so X chain. There's and, a lot of yeah. things that. You know, you can you know how to use it, but like when it's time to send things out and receive things, it's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more, not super advanced, but just a little bit more. The one thing that I think that a, a lot of people um don't really do much of is like when they're trying to send their crypto to another wallet or whatever, they just send the whole load, the whole the first time. Yeah, I always send a little bit. The Bro, first time. you always send a little bit. Dante's still there. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dante. This oh, it's a... because I, when I clicked the the yeah yeah sorry guys, um, but when I first started, that's so funny. I sent a whole load one time and it took like four hours, bro, before I got to my wallet and I was freaking out because I thought like I lost all my money. So what you should do is just take a little bit of a portion, send it over. If it gets through, then you know you can send the mother load. That's just that's just word of advice, man. Just take that with a grain of salt or do whatever you want to do with it. All right, so he's still back again. This it's is the because, old one, huh? It's because of the uh it's because of the the keys are different for uh Oh, using the different scene, that's why. Yeah, it's a different scene. So when I when I remove him from one scene, it adds him on this scene. Oh, uh, which is weird. But it is what it is. All right. So when we switch back, it, it will be back. We got we just got to switch the the whole scenery, though, right? Is it a yeah, different I scene? I would have to change the uh the hotkey for it and then it won't Don't we won't. have a whole new scene? Uh, no, it's just these oh, two. Oh, I thought you made a whole new scene. No. I mean, we have the show, the one for Dante show, but not, yeah. not uh, anything other than that. Um, so uh, this article states that it's been a bumpy ride for Bitcoin uh, investors while uh, waiting on the United States or the SEC to make their decision on whether or not they're going to approve some spot uh, Bitcoin ETFs. The U.S.-based investment firm Fidelity Investments reportedly launching a spot ETF in Canada subject to regulatory approval. Eric Bahamas, or Balakalas, I don't know how you say your name, man. He said Fidelity is launching a spot B, uh, Bitcoin ETF in Canada this week. Didn't know about this. Will easily be the biggest asset manager to date with a Bitcoin ETF. Now, I mean, we talk about it a lot on the channel, but we were probably thinking that uh, MicroStrategies would probably be the first to get that uh, yeah. that ETF. But now apparently it might be Fidelity because, I mean, Canada doesn't have the regulations there are they just want the money you know what i'm saying they're like hey you want to come to us hey, bring it on baby but the yeah, united states um, the is united just states playing. is shooting themselves in the foot they're shooting themselves in the foot man. they always do every time and the canadians are happy to take it bro they're welcoming it. hey come on the water's good over here even though you know they get all the seasons you know but it's just uh, i like that they get all the seasons i like i like the cold i, I, I want to live in a place where it snows I, you know uh like Minnesota. Not a, I'm not a super cold in person like that, man. Like those. I like it. Wearing those hoodies, states, snow, like you have stuff to, in the snow. I want to live nah, that life. <laughs> I can't do it though. Because, like, think about it though, right? We would have there to see what I mean. Um, we would have to. Can uh, you just like hide it? Uh, I guess I could lock it, but I don't know. But the but the hotkey is still there, so it wouldn't work. It wouldn't even matter. If you like make the visibility gone, the visibility is gone. It's right oh. here. Visibility is gone. You see, this is Jr. logo though. That's not Dante's no. That's logo. Dante's. See. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I I couldn't live in the cold, man. I just I I just really couldn't do it. It's just too much. They get below zero and all this other stuff. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I like I, the cold. But it, but it, it, I I guess it could be an experience. You know, if I want to really go to the cold, I guess I could just go to Big Bear. You know, yeah, but like that's not the same. Like living in it in a city, like, yeah. like seeing snow and stuff. Yeah, like, like falling I want down. that life. I want to like shovel snow out my driveway. Okay, <laughs> hey, you want to do that? Yeah, Hell yeah. Damn, I, hey. I love that. I love shout, the shout snow. Out, shout out to the people like that, snow, that, that like do the jackets. shoveling. 
I know maybe like I never experienced it like living in it, but I love it. I, I want to live there. I want to live there. I would live there. Hey, all right, more power to you, brother. I couldn't do it with you, but hey, that's what you want to do. Perfectly fine. Yeah. Now, um, I, we talked about crypto.com, right? And we don't want to sound like broken records, but um, as you guys see on the screen, crypto.com is going to acquire two new exchanges for derivatives and future sure, offerings. Derivatives. They're trying to make so, it easier for people too. They're trying to make it easier for the institutions to get in. Yeah. Because, I mean, why else get derivatives and future offerings when you could just buy crypto? It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the, this article is not for us it's not for the regular everyday investor this is for the big institutions this is for the hedge funds it's for the fund managers things of that nature crypto.com is trying to we said it on the show yesterday we said it on the, the the day before that they're trying to be the number one face of any type of exchange on crypto you know and the masses or the baby boomers will see crypto.com as like the staple because now you know with the with the staple center name change and all that they're gonna be like, well, if they've done it, then obviously this is the best one to go with. And they're trying to solidify that. Like you need to get the derivatives now, so they don't theoretically have to be in crypto, but they can just continue to get the money for it. Uh, and then futures offerings as well. That's gonna be a, a, a big thing for uh, for crypto.com. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, they're gonna be acquiring, I think the names are Nadax. Um, and then they just say the small exchange. They don't, I don't know if that's a name or what, but. Yeah. It just says the small exchange. It doesn't go into detail on what the name of it is, but maybe the name is the small exchange. I don't no, know. It says, no, I don't think so. It says you need somebody by acquiring the DAX and the small exchange. I don't yeah, know. the small exchange. Like even if you even if you go down to look it for been capitalized. where it, what is it? It still says it even down here. It says crypto.com. Yes, it is called the small exchange. That's what I think, but that's kind of a weird name. Why would you call it the small exchange? Like what? What? But this is gonna cost crypto.com. 216 million dollars they, they just they just freaking i think they gave they signed a 900 million dollar deal was that was that is that them giving stable center or that arena 900 million or it was a total uh package? it was total it was so it was totaling 700 million dollars to buy the naming rights for oh uh, they for spent Staples 700 center. million yeah Damn. So they spent 700 million and that's for 20 years and then they just spent 216 well they're going to spend 216 million uh, buying these two uh, exchanges, so Crypto.com is pushing out a lot of money, guys. So hey, man, they know, they know, they know the future. Now, will this actually depict in the the CRO tokens price? Eh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, at this point, you're gonna buy CRO. I mean, it's like a Doge coin buying in at twenty five cents. The best you're gonna get is a dollar dollar 15 maybe? for right now yeah yeah for yeah the next foreseeable future for the next year or so yeah you might see a CRO at two dollar one day but for that to happen CRO will be like a top five crypto so i don't think that's gonna happen top 10 it might crack the top 10 next year but realistically a dollar dollar five it'll be xrp prices basically the supply look at the supply I so if you're it. buying CRO now or you're, you know if you want to like maybe hold it and maybe maybe it's not a double. You're not gonna double your money, not anymore. No, you not that boat. Not as it stands. No, yeah, you're not gonna double your money at this boat. Maybe in like a year or two, you will. If you super but hold it, yeah. If you, you know, if you're just trying to double your money, you put a hundred dollars in. You're gonna make two hundred. You're gonna turn a hundred to two hundred. Why waste your time when you can put a hundred dollars into something like Cross Wallet or something that can ten x your money, right? I'm not shilling Cross Wallet. I'm just saying that's there. Literally, it's there. It was fifteen cents right now. That thing hits a dollar. You know what I'm saying? And you're making pretty good <laughs> and money. And it could hit a dollar, right? When the wallet drops. That's what I'm saying. There's tokens out there, like all over the place, that you put hundred dollars in, you can literally make a thousand bucks. Exactly. But why would you want to put a couple hundred dollars in a zero just to maybe make like a half, like a half X, like a point five X? So it'd be like you put three hundred fifty dollars in, you get like four fifty one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy What's the point? Cow. If you're just looking at price. If you love CRO and you like it, cool. We bought CRO back in like yeah, March. But, but we held that thing for honest, like six, though. seven months. Let's be honest, though. <laughs> the people that are buying CRO right now are only cents. buying it because of the name change. Yeah. They're not buying it for any other reason. They don't care about the, the card. I, they don't care about none of that. They only care about because of the name change. It is frustrating, though, because I see a lot of people that like are on the... Uh, like that are on Instagram. Mostly Instagram. Yeah. And that's where a lot of these um, people that are like into crypto, right? 
and it's so funny because i'll drop i'll drop comments into these posts that people are posting like news they do news right yeah I'll post a comment i'm like why y'all looking at zero it's too late like it's at 50 cents plus 60 cents plus right it's too late look into alliance block that's all i put people comment oh he gets it oh he knows <laughs> oh, people there's people that know because everyone else in the comments like i'm buying cro yeah cro told you guys i bought cro at 20 cents yeah i told you guys cro cro yeah it's gonna go to the moon like mm, mm, mm. And it, it's just funny because well, okay at least you guys are in crypto that's good but then it's just like it's just like dang like there's there's more to it you guys you guys are looking in the right direction you guys yeah you just gotta look a little closer cro that's good for the whole space in general like we need obviously like keith said yesterday we need those people to be buying these tokens at the top like you're literally buying cro at the top right now this is the worst time to buy didn't the dope even if it did buy that didn't he yes. buy cro at yeah the top? even if it dipped it's still the worst time to buy cro in my opinion you're not it doesn't if you understand the tokenomics cro is not going to be ten dollars this time it's not gonna happen it just lightning will strike me if it does right i'm saying that right now <laughs> it's just not gonna happen so like if you're into crypto and the first investment you're gonna make is cro you're gonna be holding the bag that's what we learned we learned that back in march yeah man we got into crypto we bought a dish bite held the bag for six months yeah. six months didn't do a damn thing cro didn't do a damn thing but it was like four or five cents though where we knew like okay this thing could hit 50 cents that's all we thought exactly could hit 50 cents and it hit 80 cents, 90 something cents. It, all, it didn't even crack a dollar. It almost hit a dollar. It almost hit a dollar, almost but a dollar. we got out like at 47 cents, but I'm like, man, I've been holding this thing way too long. Yeah, I don't even I'm care. I'm trying to put some funds into more more in the time. So I was cool with it. He was cool with it. We got out. We knew that it was probably going to keep going, but we were like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there's people that are buying it as we were selling it. And I'm like, you, you, you're just buying it on hype now. Now you're just now you're just repeating the Doge coin. Well, you're hype, hype beast yeah, at that and it's point. like it's not it's okay because you're getting into crypto, and I understand like a lot of people don't are mad about the name change. A lot of people are bullish on the name change. Why though? Let's be why. I don't know. I've I've just been observing, and I've been seeing people are mad about the name change. Like oh, Staples Center is a beautiful name. Like it's it's historic. You know, championships were won. Obviously, rest in peace, Kobe. You know, Shaq. I, I, I think if Kobe Bryant was still alive, he would welcome the name change. Kobe would be in the crypto. I, oh, 100%. He would definitely be in the crypto. And the crypto.com, a lot of people don't even care. And a lot of people find it bullish. Oh, crypto is really here to stay. And then they'll buy, they're buying it because that's like that's like the easiest thing that they can like look at. Like you said a long time ago. Like people are gonna type in crypto.com, it's like the first thing crypto on it on, pops up. on on at app stores and say crypto. Type it's in crypto. The only exchange that has crypto in its name. Yeah. And then people are buying it as their first token into crypto. And I'm like, that's good, but you're gonna be holding it for a long time. Yeah. You're not gonna under you're not gonna get what I'm saying? Like you're not gonna see the gains. You're gonna you do, you already missed the gains. <laughs> you already missed the gains. That euphoric feeling of oh, I made money, yeah. You're not gonna get that. You're, you're buying at 50 cents, okay, cool. You're probably gonna double your money, but it's gonna take right now. You're buying at 70 cents, 60 cents. Well, I don't know where Sierra was at, right? I don't know. You're, you're gonna be holding that thing for what a long time, and that's what we we learned that. So I would advise you see the bullish signs of crypto, you go in and you research other projects. That haven't had a blow up or a little mini blow up or understanding tokenomics have a chance to blow up on top of the blow up like kda blew up already but has yeah. an opportunity to continue to blow up and more quant has opportunity to blow up more but not not it's still building an infrastructure so if you buy quant today you're going to be holding for a little while i'm not i don't know how long but you're not you don't expect it to hit ten thousand dollars this bull run it's not gonna happen but i mean but the people but you know what i mean but the people look the people Mine's that are blocked. investing in it currently right Dad. now in this last stretch before 2022 even happens yeah, why are you buying cro it, it, it blew up. <laughs> you're, you're, you shouldn't even be thinking about life-changing gains at this point you should be thinking about learning as much as yes. possible and understanding the game yes. respecting the game that's what you should be focused on not finding 100x 1000x all, all you're gonna do is lose your money that's all you're gonna do you're gonna lose your money and you're, you're just gonna be looking at it it's just like a savings account now you're, you're turning you're not you're not you're not playing chess anymore now you're just playing checkers you're not even you're not winning you're not getting to the other side of the board to call checkmate you're not even moving <laughs> you're literally just standing in one spot <laughs> you're, yeah you're standing you're not moving 
So like, great. You want to buy a CRO? There, I'm, I'm telling you, there's people that are pumping thousand dollars in the CRO. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Ten racks, gonna, hundred racks. It's gonna hit three dollars. So like, bro, if, do you know how much money you need? Like, it's it could get there, but the overall crypto space needs to move first. Crypto needs to be at like a six, seven trillion dollar market cap for CRO to have its hundred billion, two hundred billion market cap alone. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's not gonna. You think. CRO is going to have a 30% dominance of the whole crypto market? Bro, think about it this way, right? <laughs> this makes sense. A lot of people don't like centralized exchanges because they don't want to pay taxes, right? Granted, somebody new has a bunch of, a little bit of money, makes maybe, you know, $120,000 a year. He decides, I'm going to throw 10 racks into CRO. CRO doesn't do anything. He's like, oh, you know what? No, 70 cents will go to like 90 cents. Hasn't done anything. You'll make like three, four grand. I want to sell it at this point. Mm -hmm. He's on a centralized exchange now. He KYC. Now you're doing a taxable event all because you bought the top of CRO when you should have just been doing your research and finding other tokens that could have made you way more They're money. out there. They're all out there. It's like people buying the top of mana. You're literally and sandbox all those you're buying speculation that's all hype the metaverse is not even here yet you're just buying hype that's well, not going to sustain itself well let's let me play devil's advocate for a second right it's okay to buy the top if you believe in the project and you're going to hold it for a while now if you buy the top the, the the goal is to dollar cost average down to bring your average down yeah you know what i'm saying so Sometimes we buy the top. It just happens. Sometimes oh, you no, FOMO yeah, yeah. in, you buy the top, whatever, what have you. It, it retraces about 15, 20%. You lose a couple, you know, dollars, depending if you're playing with thousands, you lose a couple thousands. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you really, truly, honestly believe in this project, who gives a damn if you bought the top? You know what I'm saying? But you got you got to understand that you're going to be holding it for a while. That's what you should understand. If, if you've seen something go from a dollar all the way up to four hundred dollars do you honestly think that it will continue to go up without a major pullback or staying down for a little yeah. while i mean you got to be honest here guys you gotta you gotta really like open your mind and kind of think about it that way it'd be a red flag if it ever went down like that yeah it's just it's it's a oof. i mean poof man uh, let's look at the crypto market, man. Uh, instead of looking at our portfolio, um, let's look at, let's see just what the, the 24 hours, like the, the top cryptos in 24 hours. Let's see what those are. Okay. Uh, have you heard of VGX? I think Voyager? I've, I've yeah, yeah, Voyager. Yeah, is yeah. that a, is that an exchange or something? No, I've never done research on it, but I've heard of it. I've heard of Voyager too. I've I think, I think it around. might be an exchange. You know, there's an interesting crypto that I've been seeing all over the place. Uh-huh. And I don't know if this is like too much information from Dante then, but Dante's even mentioned it. Like, I don't know if he's going to invest in it or not. There's nothing to do with it. Yeah. But for me personally, I've been seeing this token around a lot, right? And it's the Quan, Quanks, Quanks, Qu it, what, Q -A -N. What is it? Q -A oh, yeah, it's Q -A featured. Q -A if you go to marketcapof.com, it's featured. It's the featured token. Hmm. And that's when I first saw it. And then I like, it was like a couple weeks ago and I put it in the Discord. And I think one or two people like reply to my thing saying oh yeah i looked into it and i've been looking into it here and then i like it i really like it. it's blockchain a hybrid blockchain it's like a 14 cents right now so i'm just doing more research and i haven't bought into it yet but i think I'm, i've been seeing i've been seeing it ever we saw we were looking at articles it was in the corner again yep it's just popping up everywhere <laughs> and i'm like man i think it's a sign to get the throw something at it like i don't know that's the feeling yeah, see I mean, that's what i'm talking about the feeling it, it's at 14 cents so you know yeah. you put 100 bucks in there see what happens that's you know why I mean? i'm like Okay, like like I, I like I like the website. We went on the website the other the day. Website is I like the nice. website. I like their partnerships. They have a lot of people that claim to have worked with you know other great technologies like Google, Uber, etc. I mean, we don't know. I'm still doing more research on them, but I'm at the point where I'm like, hey man, I think this might have a little bit of a run up in this bull run. Could be not a long term home for me, but something that I could put money in that can kind of it's a swing flip. trade. Yeah, yeah. It's a swing I'm trade. looking at it. It's been popping up everywhere been popping up for me everywhere hey take that nugget with what you what you want to take it with man uh polygon is doing good okay it's up 18 percent on the week uh clay clayton not sure what that is that's up pretty significantly curve i i, I know curve curve is a uh i like curve man uh you can make pretty pretty decent yields on curve this is in the decentralized version so you got like 
Av, uh, Avalanche on there. You got Phantom on there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, ones that use Curve. Uh, I like Curve a lot. Cadena is up as well. Uh, Luna is up. Man, Luna looking like it might, you know, join a hundred dollar club. No, it is. Luna's definitely gonna join hundred dollar. You know, it's already chosen by the elites. Yeah. See, they... CRO has nineteen billion dollars. I can see CRO hitting a fifty billion dollar market cap, but that would make it like number f five, six. Something like that. Yeah. Rank number six. Can you can you can you see Sierra getting another thirty billion dollars uh, into it? Fifty dollar market. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it would be number be six, six, seven. Yeah. Can you see it? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's 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 good right now. It's going to happen at some point, but I just don't see it happening in the near. So I guess if you're buying CRO, as I'm saying, if you're buying CRO as your first market, you're gonna hold it for a little while. Don't expect it to keep pumping. I could, You're going to hold it for a few months. I could see CRO being where Luna is right now. It'll be $1.90 if, if it passes XRP. So what, like what, what would it be at, at, at Luna's market cap, which is, is uh, $24 uh, billion? Because that's why I think it will... $0.98. It, cents, it was already there before. Yeah, but that's what I It's already been an all-time high. I think it will just kind of just stay there just consolidate there i mean For a while, I, I yeah. could be wrong but I, I don't i don't see it hitting no, my only argument is people my only reason i'm saying all this is like hey you're buying zero expecting to make a thousand like, like be rich off of it it's not gonna happen yeah like you're gonna make you can make money yes but i just don't see you putting ten thousand in cro and then that ten thousand turning into six figures like not you could do that elsewhere for sure easily guaranteed yeah but with cro it's gonna you're gonna hold it you're gonna hold it you're gonna hold it and if you're new to crypto, like we know, holding something that doesn't make you the money, you're just looking there like you just get antsy. You're going to be depressed. Yes. That's what's going to happen. And you're, you're going to see other things pump, and yep. it always happens. Always happens. <laughs> you're going to see things pump up. I should put my money in there. Oh, I should put my money in there. Oh, if I should put my money in there. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's all I'm saying. CRO is going to be one. It already pumped, man. It's not going to do a double pump. Like Not now. It'll pump again. You got to get it. It spurts. Yeah. Quant, VXV, all these things are going to pump again. LCX had a big pump. KDA had a big pump. Polygon had a big pump. They're going to pump again. But it takes, it's like, it's coordinated, I feel like. It's, 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 that's, just, that's just how the space works. Yeah. You, you guys have to, you have to realize that, man. And, uh, and I no mean, one knows. I don't know crap. I am not <laughs> predicting the future. This is for me. His personal belief. And what I've seen and what I've dealt with, what I've lost and what I've gained. Just exactly. like you said yesterday, you know. We've done, we've been through it. We've been through the holding phase. I've held Digibyte. I've held Zillica. All right. You've I mean, held ZRX. Yeah. All right. I've held, I've held the graph. And you've held the graph and Harmony the One. Yeah, time, and hit a dollar. Dude. But it took like so long. almost a year. Oh but that's my fine. God. Diamond Hand, that's good. But yeah, <laughs> that Diamond Hand thing. You're, you're sitting on your hands when you could be out there working, making money. Yeah. But if you're okay with it, you wanna, if you don't want, that's what I'm saying. If you respect the crypto space, You'll be fine if you just say, "Hey, I'm putting money in. Look, look away and keep living your life." Okay, then. Yeah, I, I guess it, it. I guess it comes down to like. Uh, it's not what, built for everybody. What type of investor are you trying to be? You know what I mean? Are you a long-term investor, or you, you know, because you could you could be three different investors. You can, be, you can be all at the same time too. Exactly, but most people don't know that. People just think there's one way. Just like before, when I got in first got in crypto, I knew nothing about DeFi, zero zip zilch. I just thought crypto was just buy and sell. Then NFTs start popping up. Now that's a whole nother revenue stream. Yeah. Then you got DeFi popping up. That's a whole nother revenue stream. Now all these DAOs are popping up. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's not just so cut and Games. dry. Yeah, man. It, it's it's going to be pretty interesting. Like most people, no, I shouldn't say most people. I shouldn't say all either. You could have, you could be three it's different type of investors. You could, you could be, you can have your long-term bags. You can have your the money that you use to you know swing trades and things of that nature so continuing to keep making money move because let's be honest money doesn't like to just sit around it likes to be moving yes. doing something so you know what i'm saying you got to have a bag to be moving around now are you going to win every one probably not but you have to learn to take your take your wins when you can if you 2x fine 2x don't try and go for the 10x every time. Don't try and go for the 100x every time. Bro, I just got out of a crypto the other day. I'm not going to mention it on air, but I got out of crypto the other day and <laughs> I, all I made was $87. Not a lot. 
<laughs> I think I made like 30 bucks. On not that crazy. Nothing. That's not even a 10x. I'm not even a 1x. But the 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 risk it's not even a one x the risk reward wasn't it wasn't there man they started doing a whole bunch of weirdness i'm like hey look hey y'all doing some weirdness. hey the discord member family you guys know what it is exactly you guys know what it is but discord members you guys know what it is we were trying to tell y'all get out but hey if you stay you stay there's some people in the united states that make good money though yeah so but everyone but is different everyone i looked at it different. today it's significantly down man significantly down so, you know, hey, if you're in that token, you know what it is, and hopefully you got out. But if you want a diamond handed and hold it, hey, I don't know. Got to, you know, yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to go into details. But if you know, you know. But uh, honestly, guys, that's our time for today. Hopefully you guys found some value, man. It's been an amazing yeah, ride. Yeah, we, did, we didn't go over that many tokens, but, um, I mean, the market's recovering. Yeah, it's not really market's much to talk about. You v, know what v, I mean? Hey, VZ's going to be fine. Happy's going to be fine. Quan's I think VZ's be under $7 right now. No, that's eight bucks. Is it eight bucks? Yeah, check this. I thought, it's, I thought I was, it was like I was seven. Trying to buy some. <laughs> seven. Oh, I was trying to get some at seven dollars, but I bought some, some other stuff instead. I bought more lines block. We oh yeah, it's at eight bucks. Yeah, yeah, block. eight bucks. Eight lines bucks. Block. <clears throat> Increase the position of a lines block. Increase your position in the lines block. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that should be a solid look. I can hold you, but um. You mother. This is a financial advice. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully, kidding. hopefully, guys, honestly, you found some oh, value, man. Shoot. Hopefully. Uh that last episode, that? apart from the audio being messed up, like I said before, I do apologize for that. The audio was fine. Oh no, 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 no. no. It was, you know, it was, our mouths there were... was two things. The Keith's audio, Dante's audio, and our audio. Yeah. So the layers were all like off. Jumbled. We yeah. didn't have them in separate layers. We had them all at one layer. So like if Keith's microphone was more powerful or was closer to his mouth, we couldn't adjust it without exactly. adjusting ours. So if we lowered him, it would lower us even more. Yeah, like it, it was, was the just, OBS settings got messed like, up. And then Dante was boop, 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 like, I don't know. Yeah, it was it, it was my fault, but uh, I think I got it fixed now, so we shouldn't have that issue anymore. So, but yeah, that that episode is fire, man. Uh, that episode is. If you really want to listen to it, then I would suggest going to the uh, like. Apple Podcasts, yeah, Apple, or Spotify, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Like yeah, we have that on there, and just you know try, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, there's there's like, I don't know. This this is the, towards the end of the show, so whoever makes it here, hashtag Alpha. Put in the comments, hashtag Alpha. We are Alpha Talk right now. Yeah, this is Alpha Talk. We have in in the Alpha. I'm not gonna say the other word. It starts with a P. It rhymes with Echion, but. In the alpha, we have we're gonna we have like an hour conversation off air, right? Yeah. It has portfolio moves that I made, Mike's made, Dante's made. Keep and it's just a private conversation. That's what the alpha is, and then it's more set of a more so of a mindset, and it's behind the scenes deep dive. There's gonna be so much more in the alpha. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to shill it too much. This is towards the end of the show, so like we're not trying to like. Be like, oh, get in, get in, like, guys. The, the thing about the alpha, though, and I, I'm gonna say this real quick, and then we'll, 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 and it's we'll coming get off Monday. Air. We should have it ready on Monday. The alpha is like a secretive group, guys. Yes, it's like a secretive group. You we know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be so much information to where you're gonna be. It's gonna almost feel like you're gonna be overwhelmed. You're gonna be like, oh, I need more, I need more. Yes, but then, but then you can't consume it so much because it's like it's gonna overwhelm you, bro. Like we have so much things planned for the alpha man, and you know I was talking to John off air, and it just, I think it's gonna be really really yes. big. I think it's gonna be. We're gonna really, have really we have big, a lot of man. great things planned for really, it. Really really big. A lot of special feet, special guests, behind the scenes in the alpha that won't be on the show, but like people that are we think are influential. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's gonna be there's gonna be some moves. There's gonna be some things in there. So exactly that's so. it <laughs> Shh, <laughs> now let you guys hashtag know hashtag the alpha so like we know Shh, remember secretive secretive don't 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 tell too many people all right Shh. we'll see you guys tomorrow peace out <laughs>